hello all this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a fitting port in mechanical routing components so now this you can see here this is a one of them you know filter we can say in um, mechanical routing and this is going to be our fitting port so that is why we are going to create a fitting for port for this particular component so by creating a fitting port we can qualify this part for uh, mechanical routing so if you have not checked uh, my previous two videos on mechanical routing please go to the playlist and uh, I, I will also give the link in the description so you can just go to other basic videos and you can check them then you will then you can able to understand what is fitting port and why we are providing fitting port here so now we can see here this is our model and uh, qualify part you can see here here is the command qualify part so we can go to this qualify part and you can just keep everything as it is because this is a fitting port and here is a fitting so you can just right click on this and you can choose new so either you can choose new here or else you can just highlight it and also there will be a new uh, command here so you can just tap it here so both will take you to the same window and once we are into a qualify port uh, you know window you can see multiple options are there so since we are creating a fitting port we can keep it as a fitting port so now it is asking me for origin specify the origin point so now i'm going to give this center point of this particular you know circle as a my uh, specific origin point and then as soon as you provide a spare origin point by default it will take a vector so you can see here, this is the vector suppose if you want to change the vector you can just go here and check you can give whatever the vector you want so now in this case the, the whatever the vector it is there so along this only the our routing will go so that is why i will just keep it as it is but i will just reverse the direction okay so once i reverse the direction you can see uh, the direction is along uh, negative y direction now so now we can see here there is an extension so extension i'm going to give it as a two inch and then um, we are going to give a specify a rotation vector so i'm going to discuss what is rotation vector uh, there will be a command called uh, clock part in the mechanical routing so during that time i'm going to discuss what is specify uh, you know rotation vector so now uh, we can see here engagement so engagement let it keep it as a one inch i'm going to tell you uh, once the port is created what is extension and what is engagement so now i'll just click ok so as soon as you click OK, you can see here in the fitting port, uh, there will be one port visible. You can just click OK here and this we can say it as a qualified part. So because, because it is having a port. So now, now suppose if you are importing any of the component into an uh, mechanical routing assembly and how you are going to come to know whether the ports are existing or or the component is completely qualified or not. So there are three ways how we can check whether the port is um, created or not. So once, suppose if there is a port, it will be always visible here. So you can see here the, the port is already visible here. In case it is hidden by layers or some other options, so you can able to check the port over here in, in the part navigator. In case if it is not visible here also, so you can just go to qualify part and inside the qualified you can just expand this fitting port fixture port and multi port and other things so once you expand this you can see this this is the port so if there are any uh, you know features under these options then it is completely qualified so you don't need to worry so these are the different methods how we can check whether the component is qualified or not so now we are going to discuss about engagement and extension say for example there is a port which is already created and in case in future if you want to create a path so i'll just go to spline path here and i'm going to select this port and i'm going to make a path over here so now you can see here the engagement is nothing but what is the distance that your path is going to engage with a component so now you can see here this is our routing path and it has been engaged with one inch so one inch there it will be inserted inside the component so even though the you know port is created here it will have an engagement this is an engagement length which is which we have given as a one inch and whatever this it is having so after the you know the component is completed it, it should have to come straight path so that is what the extension is all about so this is going to be our extension and this is going to be our uh, engagement engagement in the sense how much distance it has been inserted into particular component so that is what the engagement so if you give two inch as an engagement then then it will have a two inch of uh, straight length inside this component so this is what about uh, you know engagement and um, uh, extensions guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below in the next video i am going to create a fixture port
please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys